Hi, everyone. Welcome to Chicks Talking Picks. It's been a while. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. <laughs> I feel a little guilty that we haven't met for almost a couple of months here now. Yeah. We've oh, both been. You've been traveling. running around a lot. <laughs> yeah, so have you. So we bit. just. Uh, we apologize to our audience, but we have just not been able to connect in enough time to run an episode. So, um, but thank you for tuning in today. And this will be a short one, uh, unless we start rambling. <laughs> it <laughs> <That> sometimes happens. <laughs> so where are you today, Jenny? I'm back at home. Uh, I was okay. gone last weekend, but back at home for this week and then we'll be off to Yuma next week just for the weekend so good sounds like fun yeah your background is really nice is that one of your images uh yeah that's up at um Minaret Point up above Devil's Post Pile in um up near Mammoth California oh cool yeah very nice. nice yeah so I'm home too I um I am kind of home for the month of November. I'll take off again in no, in December. Uh, so uh, I think um, I, th I think I was traveled out there for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing local classes for smartphone photography. So that's kept me busy for the last few weeks. Great. All right. Well, let's get right into this. Um, we have just two images today. Two images. Uh, but they're really nice images and we are going to discuss them. Jenny, you're first up. <laughs> Great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that to you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> um, so yeah, and very nice serene boat scene. Um, you did a nice job on placement with the horizon and getting the whole um, top mast of the boat in uh, a couple things that, um, and the you, there's highlights on the water, but they're not blown out, which is nice. Um, the boats feel a little dark. I think a little selective uh, um, dodging, you know, brightening those up would help. Um, I also having the two boats. I mean, I know you probably the photographer was limited on what angle that they could take, but the boats kind of blend into each other being one on top of the other if you could have isolated the the sailboat from the uh, motorboat I think would have made a stronger image um what do you have Sandy yeah I agree with you um I might like to see that mast a little straighter but you know I know that they're on water <laughs> so it's rocking uh <laughs> but I might have manipulated the image a little to make that boat just a little more um equal with the horizon i guess was what i'm saying the horizon's great love it yeah. the horizon's lo straight so the mass yeah is what I, it is <laughs> yeah it is what it is um uh, what i like is when i first looked at this image i thought it was like a little valley in the background but i what balances it really well is the fact that you have land on the right and a nice dark cloud on the left mm -hmm. and the the fact that that cloud is actually blocking the sun is very helpful in not having those really blown out highlights in your scene. So mm -hmm. I think it was captured at a really great time, but I agree with you that maybe lightening up the entire subject in the foreground, maybe leaving that second boat that you're, that it's merging with um, dark. Yeah. And I, I know that's, that's going to be a tough one to do and do it right. But uh, that may help it a little bit. But other than that, it's a very peaceful, lovely scene. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't really think I have any more to say about it except a, a nice reflection. It's, um, it's almost vignette really perfectly for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's probably all, but I, I love the image. I wish I was on the boat for a little while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe the maker will invite us one day. <laughs> no. uh, so, yeah. So I think that's great. Let, let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at the settings. So this was taken at uh, one 
one twenty fifth of a second at f seven point one ISO sixty four. Actually, perfect in my mind. Um, since the water was calm, I think mm -hmm. one one twenty seven twenty fifth of a second is perfectly fine. And yeah, yeah. I what mean, the think? boats aren't moving or anything, no. um, so it was obviously shot fast enough. Mm -hmm. If the water was moving in anymore, I would say maybe, you know, depending on what lens you shot it with, um, you know, maybe bump that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. but otherwise, yeah, that's great. And I think the um, the depth of field um, is good. It's very good for, for showing the this image, but uh, in this image. But um, I wonder if you could have used a little bit uh, wider aperture to maybe um, separate that boat in the background from the boat in the foreground. I don't know. You could have maybe tried that a little bit. But anyway, okay. Yeah. Let's go on to the next one. And this one falls on me. I think I start with this yeah. one. So another beautiful, beautiful scene. Thank you for, uh, first of all, I see a lot of sunset. We see a lot of sunset sunrises with no real subject in Sometimes you get a pier and, and we are, we've seen a lot of them. Let me just say, but this is kind of new, refreshing, seeing a, seeing a boat, uh, um, a vessel in the image and, and having these beautiful sunrise and sunsets. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're trying to figure out where this is because we don't know what that rock is in the background. Um, I think you probably uh, might have, use the rule of thirds a little bit more on this one, maybe um, uh, cropped from the right, just a little bit in the bottom, just a hair. Uh, I like the reflection of the pinks in the water, but I think you might have put the boat on one of those intersecting lines or rule of third lines um, to just to make it a little wee bit more powerful. And I think the boat, even though the rock in the background is really small, um, it does kind of balance it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Jenny, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, talking about the rock and the boat, I like that the there's an implied line going from the front of the boat to the rock by the way it's facing. So it kind of directs the viewer's eye from the boat, which you see first, because it's the lightest thing in the image, to further into the image to the rock. And I think you could enhance that a little bit if you added a little bit of lightning on the rock, you know, just lighten it up a little bit, might mm -hmm. make it stand out a little bit more. <clears throat> um, I, the clouds are, there's just a little touch of going overexposed, but it's really not that bad. You know, I mean, it's, it's a nice color um, in the brighter parts and I, that doesn't bother me at all that it's just almost on the verge of being too bright, but not really. Um, at the right, there is what I assume is a bird, but yeah, it, I it just looks like that. a sensor spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I mean, just because it's a little fuzzy and, you know, it could be a bird, maybe not. I would probably just spot that out, you know, the heel spot yeah. type. Spot of it out or crop it out. Uh, yeah, if you cropped yeah. it the way you suggest, then it probably wouldn't even be in the frame. So right. you could do yeah. that. Um, other than that, it's, you know, the tonal colors or everything are really nice um yeah and nice placement of the horizon and all that so yeah for sure good job yeah i think this is really a, a nice image and it may be a little bit stronger like i said cropping from the right and the bottom of here i like the um the anchor point of that land and that band of fog or cloud that um, separates that rock from the mountains or the land in the background. Yeah, That's really, good. it's nice that the fog goes just above the rock. Yeah. Um, yeah. To just separate those. That's nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, really well done. Plan that, I like, but <laughs> uh, I, the maker did a great job on both these images. It is the same maker. So um, just beautifully done. So I think, uh, let's see what he had shot this at. It's a he, we won't say the name because we're going to keep those names uh, to ourselves if uh, requ requested. One uh, twentieth of a second. Oh, that's interesting. F8 at ISO 800. 
so apart from the was, bird everything else seems pretty sharp so yeah yeah too slow yeah that's interesting it was pretty calm to shoot that at one one twentieth of a second so very good all right thank you for turning those in remember uh if you want any images reviewed uh send them to chicks talking pics at gmail.com send a jpeg file and if you know how size it 1920 pixels on the longest side please that would help us uh when we're preparing the, our shows and uh jenny um yeah and while you're there uh yeah. watching the show go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the uh, little bell to notify you when we get a new episode out um we love having new subscribers and please comment on the anything on the uh, posts as well on the videos. Yeah. And we have one bit of good news though. We do get our name. Right. YouTube is le letting everyone have uh, unique handles. And so we will be getting a unique handle. So it'll be easier to find our channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a great thing. And we'd like to say thanks, everybody, for watching this evening. And uh, we will see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.